What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Overwatch League discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be going over my reactions to the Paris Overwatch League team and the Guangzhou Overwatch League team because they finally went out and announced their logos, team colors, and team names. So we're going to start things off with Paris and then work our way from there. So starting off with the team name for Paris, they decided to go with the name Paris Eternal. And I'll be honest, I like that a lot. I think it has a very nice ring to it. And to add on to that, I personally think that Eternal is a very unique name to have for a sports team. Moving on to their team themed Overwatch League skins, I like them a lot. I think that the blue and red looks quite clean and those are two of my favorite colors. So that just makes it even better. At some point in the future, I think I definitely want to spend my 100 Overwatch League tokens on a Paris Eternal skin. I think I'll probably get the Widowmaker version of it, and I know that's probably the most unoriginal idea ever, but I like the fact that you could have a Paris-themed skin for a character who is French. I think that's really cool. And finally, when looking at their logo, it's a rooster, and to be honest, at first, I really wasn't a fan of this. I thought that out of all animals, I thought it was kind of weird to pick a rooster, but after doing some research, I found out that this actually has a very symbolic meaning in France, as it's one of their national emblems apparently, which I thought was really cool, but also it symbolizes the French people, which just makes it even more amazing. So after researching and reading more about this, I decided that I actually really do like this rooster as a logo for Paris Eternal. If you're from France or just know a lot about the country in general, make sure to let me know if I left out any important details about this symbol and what it means to France. I'm actually very interested and I want to learn more. Overall, I really do like Paris Eternal's branding and I adore the fact that this team is representing the entire country of France, so all of France's people are rallying behind this one team. I'm very happy for France. I know that professional Overwatch is pretty big over there, and now they have a team of their own to root for. That's just really awesome. And to add on to all of that, Paris has a pretty strong roster. They have guys like Soon and Shadowburn who have prior Overwatch League experience, but then they also picked up some very intriguing prospects like Nico and Ben Best who played alongside Soon in the Overwatch World Cup this year. Then they also have the amazing support player Cruz who played on the United Kingdom in this year's World Cup. So overall, they have a pretty stacked roster and I'm very excited to see how well they can do this year. And I think I've talked about everything I wanted to about the Paris Overwatch League team. So now let's move on to the Guangzhou team. So starting off with the name for this team, they have decided to go by the name of the Guangzhou Charge. And I like this a lot. I know it kind of sounds similar to the Shock, like Shock Charge. It both kind of reminds you of electricity, but... Charge kind of has a different meaning, at least for me personally. When I hear the words Guang and Charge, it really does remind me of the game Smite. If you don't know what Smite is, basically it's an online MOBA where you play as gods from different pantheons. They all have like unique abilities and stuff and your goal is to be another team full of these gods. And there's one god who goes by the name of Guan Yu. He is from the Chinese pantheon and... He has one ability where he charges in on his horse and kind of just attacks the enemies. So when I saw Guan and I saw Charge, it reminded me so much of Guan Yu from Smite. Next up, when taking a look at their logo, it's nothing special, nothing out of the ordinary. It's just a G and a Z, but I kind of like the simplicity of it. Kind of like with the Toronto Defiant. Sometimes simple gets the job done, so I'm okay with this logo. And finally, when taking a quick look at their team-themed Overwatch League skins, I like them a lot. I think that the dark colors they have going on look quite clean. Hanzo and Moira look absolutely amazing in this picture. Like with the Eternal, I definitely need to save up some Overwatch League tokens so I can get a Guangzhou Charge skin in the future. Just like with the Paris Eternal, I really do like the Charge's branding a lot. I think it's super clean overall, and honestly... Every single Overwatch League expansion team has impressed me so far with how they've looked. And I don't know where I'm going to get all of these Overwatch League tokens, guys, because I want to get a skin for each of these teams so bad. And I think that's everything I wanted to say about the Guangzhou Charge. I unfortunately don't know much about their roster. I've heard they have some good players, but I don't really know any of them in particular. 
so I'm not going to bother talking about them. And with that being said, I think I'm just about ready to wrap up the video. So if you enjoyed this content today, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new around here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications so you don't miss the next Overwatch League discussion video. And of course, as always, I encourage you guys to join me in the comment section and tell me what you think of these two new Overwatch League teams. And until the next one, I'll catch all of you beautiful people later. Peace.